what's up guys welcome back to jump behind the scent as you see from the thumbnail we're gonna be reviewing one of the plates on the quantum safety razor from phoenix artisan so they're sold out right now but he's getting another batch soon so should be able to get one if you're on his um, notifications list. I lost my top to my friggin' cube tumbler. I'm pissed off about. Anyway, soap is going to be Razor Rock Green Label. I uh, got the four pack of these. They do not come in these little tubes. It's from Phoenix Artisan as well. But what I did was put the label on here and it works pretty nice. At least it did for the head shave I just had. So it's a very hard soap. Um, I've been soaking it. But for the brush, I'm going with. The gel bore from Craving Shaving. I really like this pour. This camera doesn't do it justice, but. So let's choose a random blade. This is my little blade container. I've got three of them. I got it at Walmart. It's like a little, it's like it's one about that tall and then two this tall and they stack. And anyway, it's good for tux blades, loose blades. And I'll put samples in my biggest one, but. terrible so <clears throat> like I said it comes with two plates it comes with a <coughs> alpha plate and the omega plate the omega plate so one we're going with today the alpha looks similar but it's a different symbol in the corner The Omega plate is the mildest. I don't have but a day and some change on my face, so. A washer on it. Right there. But it's made of stainless and brass. CNC machined. Get into some specs, polished stainless steel and bead blasted brass. The alpha plate is 18 grams. The omega plate is 18 grams. The top cap is 12 grams. The brass tip, which comes off, you can shoot, you can buy different colors. It's 18 grams. Handle without the tip is 81 grams. Total length assembled is approximately 3.75 inches. <clears throat> and of course, it includes the brass tip. So, looking good on um, the blade. Looks even to me. I 
I got like all four of these scents. There's a gold label, the green label, there's a blue label and a black label. Got them all for like $4.99. This isn't painful, I'm just trying to tighten up my skin so it'll come off easier. Probably would be painful if I wouldn't have soaked it first, but just soak it in really hot water for like, stand it up in a mug like that for like, <clears throat> I don't know, 10 minutes. You should be good to go. Should be plenty. If not, I got a whole stick there. By the way, you get <clears throat> 75 grams with this, 2.6 ounce. And long list of ingredients. Um, yeah, not reading all that, but if you've had a razor rock soap before, you <clears throat> pretty much know what you're getting into. Sin on this. A woody, <clears throat> a woody aromatic. Fresh, clean, and bold. <clears throat> There's a lot of water trapped in this, apparently. Okay. All right. So always use a bore when using a soap stick, especially one as dense as this. I've not tried PAA sticks, but I did see soap thing Ben on Ben's channel. Apparently they're really soft. So Arcos isn't that bad either. Darby's. Uh, they're not as hard as these. This is the hardest stick I've ever used. I haven't used them all, but I've used a few, so. I should have never added that under my nose. It's really hard to rub that in. But yeah, there's no um, blade gap specs on this. So, in case you're wondering, they come in at $89.99. I mean, it's pretty good. Very good considering it's two plates. I have used the other plate and it's on the aggressive side, um, which it's marketed to be, so. But we're going to go ahead and get into this. <clears throat> right now. Let's see how we go. Very mild. Little to no blade feel. For this blade at least. Coming up on a year of growth on this thing. Next month, middle of the month. It's crazy. Now 
I can grow a goatee for a year, but not a beard. I mean, I can, but. <clears throat> With no trimming or anything. I mean, I did take a couple cent millimeters off of this. But. If I lived up north somewhere, I probably could. But the humid summers here. Are brutal. I really don't want to put a ton of hair on my face in the middle of summer. And then I could only shave my head then. I might have to go through all this shit a lot slower. so much stuff on deck to use I just I don't know like I'm not getting the views I used to get I'm not getting the subscribers that I used to get I used to get on the minimum <clears throat> Which is nothing to a big channel, but I used to get at least 10 to 12 per week. Now I'm barely getting one per month. So maybe three on a good month. It's just not. <laughs> it's too much trouble to make all these videos and. buy all these products to review when no one's watching. So I thought about quitting. of people that has it wouldn't be fair to the people who have subscribed and commented and liked my videos so I'm basically doing it for you guys right now and that's it and myself but Alright, very, very comfortable, <clears throat> efficient pass there. I went in with the head shave earlier with a, where the hell is it, right here, this beautiful injector there, got a awesome head shave with that. I didn't know what to use. I just looked down and there it was loaded up already. So I went with it and got a fabulous head shave. I put the album stick on it. No feedback whatsoever. Zero. Which is rare for me. Normally get at least a little bit. Especially on the head shaves. set up the merch i figured i'd at least get one t-shirt or one mug sale nothing no sales i only get like 10 percent from that so it's not like i'm gonna get rich <laughs> or be able to quit my job or something i just figured some people wanted to 
support. That way. But their little stupid bot system took down my uh, image because it thought it was against their terms. I mean, how the hell is my logo against your terms? <laughs> my God. There's nothing vulgar about it. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Let's go to the cross grain. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my cross grain passes. We started doing this last week. So, All I do is little J hooks. And I can tell the difference in closeness. Just be very careful. Especially if you're new. I wouldn't even recommend trying it if you're new. But. Wherever I can get away with it, I do J-hooks. third pass I just ride the top cap against the growth percent strength on this I don't know if I've done said that but five out of ten it's definitely there you don't have to uh, Go out of your way to smell it, but it's definitely not going to fill up your bathroom. But I don't mind it, especially for the price. It's not that bad of a formulation either. Um, it's not the best, of course, but it's better than some I've tried. The post shave isn't that bad either. The residual slickness is there, but it's not top tier, but it does have some. I'm going to call this part one to this review because Obviously, I have to do the other one, other plate, so that's about right here, and that's it. I don't even want to look at the time on this video. I like the design of this too. It's after a, made after a red, red 
spring or something. So he went with the red tip style handle. I thought it was pretty cool and makes sense. And they're having the meet up today in Arizona. If you want the uh, meet up soap, it's only going to be available this weekend. Which I'm filming this Saturday, the 25th of February 2023. So if you want that, you better jump over there and get it because won't be available Monday, so. He's only releasing it to people that didn't get to go to the meetup, obviously for travel reasons and expenses, or both, that wanted to come to the meetup and can't, so. Sounds like a good, it'll be a good scent. All right, let's see how well I did here. It's a damn fine shave, indeed. Um, let's see what Alum has to say about it. What do you got to say about it, Alum? Alum? Mmm. Right here, no good. But the rest of it's great. I always improve on my neck. I mean, it's really hard to get close on the neck without getting irritation. For me. Alright. Right at 23 minutes. I thought it'd be worse than that. Aftershave boots. This is from Paul H. Across the pond. Had it for a while. Had these soap sticks for a while too around Black Friday. But I really like this fresh wood um, scent from boots. Put that all over face and head because I haven't put nothing on my head yet. Yeah, this has been a really nice shave. If you stuck around this far, I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Yeah, it matches up with this soap pretty well. If you like this um, part one and part two, it'll be the same thing except no specs mentioned. Different brush, different soap, different blade. But besides that, that's pretty much it, people. So. Don't forget to check out the affiliate links in the description and all that jazz and buy some merch and whatever you guys want. All right, guys. Later.